Unsafe working conditions at area hospitals. That is the claim from some union workers who have been protesting all throughout the day today. 13 Action News reporter Kelsey McFarland joins us live outside of Southern Hills Hospital to explain their demands and also what Southern Hills has to say about it. Kelsey. Well, Ross, that group stood right on this sidewalk outside of Southern Hills Hospital with a list of demands, including better protective gear and hazard pay. But an ER nurse who works inside Southern Hills Hospital says she's embarrassed and confused about the demonstration. Protect us so we can protect our community. That's the message from SEIU 1107, a union representing health care and public service employees across Nevada. About a dozen union members stood outside Southern Hills Hospital with signs and a list of demands, including free COVID-19 testing and hazard pay for health care workers. We need masks that can be used how they were designed and how they were safety tested, single use. We need the gowns that were single use to be able to use one time and not hang outside a room and use over and over. This union member says she's a nurse at a local HCA affiliated hospital, but excluded her name to protect her employment status. She's worried lack of protective gear puts her and her family at risk. We need to know that when we show up to take care of our city, of our neighbors, of our friends, that we're going to be safe when we go home to our families. Jocelyn James is an ER nurse at Southern Hills Hospital. She questions the union's motives. During these times, we really should be working together and not really using, you know, contract negotiations as a way to say, hey, you know, hospitals aren't being supported, which they cannot say. It's just absolutely wrong. James says frontline workers at Southern Hills Hospital are satisfied with their pandemic pay options and don't agree with the members of SEIU. We have not once ran out of PPEs. We have always felt 100% supportive by our bosses and our staff and administration. We can get any kind of any type of PPE that we need. A union rep says they have two more protests planned, one tomorrow at Mountain View Hospital and then Friday at Sunrise Hospital. Reporting live, I'm Kelsey McFarland, 13 Action News.